Hey, good morning, Kyle. Hey, good morning. Right, so when one. when it's recorded, will you be able to send that to me so I can have that for my agents? Yes, absolutely, I can. That's great. Hey, good morning, Christine. Good morning, Nara. Hello. So I have three people, Kyle, that told me that initially we're going to be here, but their clients have uh, wanted to go out and meet with them. So yeah, that's no why it's important for me to have this so I can provide that to them. Yep. No problem at all. Um, are we expecting any more that might trickle in? Uh, yeah, I'm expecting two to three more. Okay. I'll give it a minute then. So what's the weather like up there in Ontario? Oh, it's actually beautiful right now. Actually, we're getting a random spell of uh, nice weather, keeping the golf courses open another week, <laughs> which is nice. But uh, it's going to change probably in another two weeks. I feel like the seasons have shifted now. Like pretty much um, doesn't seem like it gets warm till like June and it stays pretty good until December now. <laughs> we um, right. I'm looking at my phone right now. It says it's 63, which is a little warmer than normal for this time of the year yeah but uh a few days ago it was it was fairly cold and um so you know it was one of those things where i'm sure you guys have the heat on already but yeah uh, where it was one of those things where about three days ago my wife and i said oh the hell with this we put the heat on and lit the fire it's the kids <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had the heat on one day and then on the weekend i had the uh the windows open so <laughs> It's been uh, a little tricky to predict, but I'll take it. And then I'm planning a planning on heading down to Texas at the end of the month, so um, for a kind of trip. I've been on since before COVID, but I'm hoping it gets cold for that week that I leave, just so uh, <laughs> can take advantage of being in a warm spot. You just going on vacation or what? Yeah, pretty much. Um, know some people down there. A uh, guy I went to university with lives there with his wife. So I'm just going down to visit for about five days. Uh -huh. Yeah. Part of Texas. Uh, it's going to be Dallas. Dallas. Um, well, that's actually probably... where we were founded. Fathom was founded in the Dallas area. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Right. I didn't know that. That's great. Oh, we got one more Don popping in here. Okay. All right. There you go. And just give it another minute or two because I'm expecting one, you know, at least one other person. So, okay. Yep, there's Tawana. Yep, okay, good. Hey, Christine, can you hear us? So, I see uh, Christine and Don are still connecting the audio. Good morning, Tawana. Uh, give another minute. I'm sorry. That's okay. To unmute. That's okay. Good morning, Christine. There she is in the chat. Yep. I'm expect there actually is one other person that said they were going to be here. So give it another minute. If not, okay. Yeah, no problem. All right, Christine, I see no mic this AM, but listening, all right, sounds good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. What a, what a sweet deal. So, and he's just been a great guy to work with. So, um, gets everything in on time. There's not going to be any delays. You know, he's on top of his game. So anyway, so I will, I will do what we did before, which is I'll do a little bit of an intro and then start off. He's looking to make a decision today. Hold on, I'm just getting a lot of uh, hearing Don. Have to mute Don here. Yeah, just give it another minute. I had 
definitely one person that said they were coming on board. So just give another 60 seconds and then no matter what, we'll start. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Sounds good. <clears throat> so when do you guys expect your first snow up there? That's the thing. It would, could be any day now, <laughs> probably, uh, probably by next week. But, um, we're holding on. We're holding on for now. Might be able to get one more round of golf on this weekend. Okay, good. Good. Hey, Christine, I think we can hear you. Please press one to proceed in English. Go ahead and mute her, Kyle. There we go. The good old mute button comes in handy. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. All right. We might as well go ahead and get started. Uh, and then somebody okay. who, the, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, whoever comes in late will will join in. Okay. Right, so, yeah, more, keep, huh? I just said, I was just saying, I'll keep my eye out if anybody pops. Right. Okay. Good morning, guys. Hey, I really appreciate you being part of this. We have a couple of people that were supposed to be in this, but uh, their clients want to see, you know, see some homes or uh, want to meet with them. So that's, that sort of uh, uh, minimized the number of different people. I, I figured we'd probably have between seven and eight. And uh, we had a few people that uh, one person is not on yet and a couple other that uh, others that had client meetings. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> just to give you a little bit overall, I, I stumbled across this um, on my tablet one day and I, I dismissed it a good bit after it kept popping up. And I thought, oh, what the heck? Let me just take a look at it. And so um, I ended up having a, a Zoom call with uh, a gentleman by the name of Campbell, who's on, who's on vacation right now. Uh, and the bottom line to it was I was really impressed with what this can offer. Uh, this, I think, is, uh, is a great opportunity for us. Uh, it creates, an, and Kyle will, is, the, is actually Campbell's boss, is going to go over this with you. And it's a, basically a storybook. And what it does to me is it helps us in marketing our listings and getting more listings because we will be able to present something that a vast number well we would be one of the few groups in in virginia let alone northern virginia that uses this um i'm you know i'm definitely without question enamored with this and th see see great possibilities for it both for listing presentations for buyer presentations but also marketing our listings. Um, and, and for me, also for doing some, uh, some recruiting. One of the things that I think will probably cross many of your minds is, well, it's a great market. Why do I have to do something like this? Well, again, it's, it's setting us apart as far as what we can offer for our clients. The market, we're, we're seeing a softening in the market. It's not going away. It's not a terrible market. And I know you all know that. Uh, but I think this will be able to promote for our clients better their homes and also promote us even better than we are you know, able to promote ourselves. So uh, the idea when it comes down to cost is, and we'll talk about that later, is that we would share the cost for this. Um, depending on the number of people that say, yeah, I want to be part of it. Uh, if we have enough, then we'll do that. If we don't have enough, I don't have the wherewithal. Uh, or the inclination, to be honest with you, uh, more the inclination than the wherewithal, to foot $4,800 for 25 seats, up to 25 seats, okay? Uh, it, depending on the number of people, uh, I'm looking at probably between five and 750 per person for the year, and it's unlimited. So with that, uh, Kyle, uh, go ahead and take it away. Yeah, thank you, Mark. And uh, just to build on kind of what you were saying, yes, it will help you do all the things that you mentioned. Uh, but even much more than that, if, if I would take it beyond just marketing your listings, um, basically, however you want to portray yourself and however you want to start building relationships with people in the online space, you're going to be able to use Studio to create content that's going to shape exactly how you want people to see you. Um, that means, you know, if you're a community focused agent, uh, and you want to start promoting yourself as, as a community leader, uh, or somebody who's, who's thrives on selling location, um, that's another example. And we'll get into more examples here. Um, which, which makes, what makes us really cool is that, you know, we, we have the ability to basically give you a tool now that takes what you're already doing, which is spending money on different types of, 
uh, tech that's out there and available to us and just in a very simple and easy way, just repackage it to basically shape the way people see you, not just as property transactors who provide, you know, information on homes, because obviously we know there's portals out there like Zillow and Redfin now that are just kind of moving in on that space. But we can actually shape you as more of lifestyle experts um, who are able to tell the story use storytelling to tell people a story about, um, you know, whatever it is and how they want to see you. So there, there's a lot of great benefits to this that I'll get into. Um, just so you know, a little bit of background on our company. We've been around for eight years. We're up in Toronto, Canada. If you were wondering why Mark was asking me about the weather. Um, we, we work with everybody from a brokerage um, who will offer us as a service to the agents or split on it with the agents, much like you guys are talking about doing. Uh, we work with a lot of real estate teams who will purchase us on their own. We also work with uh, individual agents as well. Now, the problem that we're really solving is what we call this relationship problem. Um, real estate, as you know, is the art of getting chosen, right? Essentially, that, that is what we're trying to do. Um, once you win the contract selling the property, it's pretty much seen as transactional and the easy to do part, right? But the real win is winning the contracts to represent a seller, as we know. So. One problem even top agents and teams are having is they lack differentiation and difficulty reaching potential customers outside of their personal referral networks, right? And over the last decade, obviously real estate's been changing quite a bit, and particularly since COVID, the decision to get chosen is largely happening online now, okay? So it's way before a realtor or a team even has the chance to go in and pitch. So without talking to a realtor it's very difficult for the average seller especially if you don't know them personally to tell the difference between you and one of your competitors right so ultimately it's a relationship problem and the question we ask is how does a real estate professional actually build a relationship with someone when you don't have the opportunity to be in front of them and speak with them directly right it's, it's a difficult thing so storytelling is a strategy that solves what we call the online relationship problem and in contrast to in-person networking, um, where, you know, in person, you're going to be able to talk to someone for four or five minutes minimum uh, and work your magic. But online, you have very limited time. You have about six seconds to capture someone's attention and make them want to work with you. Um, technology creates emotional barriers. And what we're doing is we're throwing a lot of tech at people. But it's really emotion that creates relationships enough to trust and persuade people that they should work with a particular agent. So storytelling can help you cross that barrier, communicate your differentiation, make somebody feel something most of all, and it engages them for longer and persuades them to pick you over someone else. That in a nutshell. So what this ends up becoming is a way for you to repackage the content that you're already spending money on and like, you know, video, photos, 3D tours, all that great tech that I was talking about, um, and present it in a number of different use cases that you can obviously share through all of your marketing channels, including public marketing channels, like, you know, the MLS, realtor.com, Zillow, et cetera. Um, so with that being said, I'll jump in, I'll show you guys what this looks like. Um, I'll start with the, the storybook of a single property as, as Mark, mentioned you can use this to market your listings now it's not to get the home sold i know we're in a hot market it goes on the market there's multiple offers overnight and it gets sold we often don't even have to do marketing on the home the agent wouldn't really do this to get the home sold it's really about building up a portfolio of showing people the way they're marketing properties much like an artist would have a portfolio of art right you can now use these pieces and have them go out through through the interwebs um, and start showing people the way that you're marketing homes to get you in more conversations about listing opportunities. Um, from there, you would obviously use a listing presentation to close that business and I'll show you the listing presentation in a moment. But um, a storybook is essentially, we've already designed all the templates. So this is not like a design program like in Adobe InDesign or anything like that. This is an opportunity for you to be able to drag and drop your own content into an already branded template uh, and create agency level quality content in a matter of minutes. Um, so as I open it up, you'll notice it, it integrates with every single type of media that's out there. Um, and there's interaction points on each page. So on the left hand side, you know, I've got the front foyer and the slideshow photos that I'm going through here, clicking through on the right, my 3D tour, in this case, a Matterport, but any 3D tour is fine, um, fits right into the story. So we make sure if you're paying for this, it's not just a link somewhere down on the page that they often miss, they're going to see it and interact with it. Um, I have to physically click to move 
through the storybook, just like you're when you're re flipping through a book at home, right? So it piques my curiosity, what's going to be on the next page. Um, and then we use cinemagraphs, which are these looping videos um, to, you know, represent lifestyle and inject some emotion into the content. Now we do provide you with a bevy of stock when it comes to the cinemagraphs. So lots of these clips here can be paired up with your own photography. And it just gives it, like I said, that lifestyle feel where it's not just a static presentation all the way through. Um, and you can actually get people thinking about, you know, barbecuing with their friends or cooking dinner in that kitchen and so on and so on. Um, so the storybooks, I mean, they can be built anywhere from four pages up to 20 pages. So you can show everything from the features of the home, of course, but also a little community if you want as well and really start painting that lifestyle picture. Um, so now, you know, we're not on that disjointed experience of like a single property website. We're actually controlling the narrative now and walking them through like, just like life, you would walk them through an open house in a particular order. Um, what it's gonna be like to live in this community or in this home. I'm just gonna pause there for a sec. We have someone else joins it, joining. All right, I think we're good. So yeah, to finish off this storybook, I mean, these are right now dummy branded to studio, but you can picture this obviously with your own branding on it, branded to, to the agent on the back, headshot, contact information, links directly to your website and, and uh, email. Um, we also have the ability to build lead capture forms in on the storybooks, as you can see at the bottom here, um, the lead capture form does pop up time delayed about five seconds in. So you can actually build a funnel onto the content itself and that would integrate with your CRM system. So it just pops it directly into the CRM for you. Um, I'll show you one more. Or did somebody have a question there? Thought I heard somebody. Okay. Yeah, but again, at some point, could you show them uh, mine? Yours, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember where I have it here. Twenty-seven daffodil. Yeah, let me just look it up in my email here. All right, email. Stop messing with me right now. Just give me a second. It's like my email's crapping out on me right now. Hold on. Got it. All righty. So here is 27 Daffodil, which is. Um, one of the examples that Mark had sent over to Campbell and he had our intern quickly put a storybook together. Took her about 15 and, and minutes. And just so that you know, this is my latest listing that's sold, but I wanted to see what one of our listings, and, and I, we actually, there are a couple other listings that I sent him, but what one of my listings would look like in this storybook presentation. Yep, so slideshow is on the front cover here. Um, obviously we packaged together the media that that you sent us. So uh, I think it was mainly photos and uh, 3D tours here with this one, a uh, 3D tour with this one. Um, you'll see from the front foyer here on the left, paired up with one of the stock cinemagraphs of the, the plant. Um, there we have the 3D tour now, so we can walk through the home. Um, and again, it just flows like an interactive story, right? So because of all the engagement on each page and the fact that you're constantly participating in this content and clicking on things and, and moving your way through it, we're getting engagement times of up to four to five minutes on average. So if you can keep somebody on a piece of content that you're showing them for that length of time, the trust level with you just goes way, way up. And that means the likelihood that they'll want to contact you also goes way, way up. So with slideshows, I mean, you can have where you can where you click on them to change it. You can also have them auto play, like you're seeing the one in the bottom right corner is just switching photos every couple of seconds on its own. Um, so you know there are features like that as well. Um, the stock cinemagraphs are what really bring it to life, obviously. 
Um, there'll always be a little bit of text, but it's really the media that does the talking. Um, and even Google Maps and Google Street View can go in as well. So um, that's what you're seeing here on the left and right page showing where the location is. I don't know how many of you mess around with Google Street, but it looks really, really cool um, where you're able to actually drop people on the street and they can walk around. Um, just to slide over and give you a quick example of that, you'll see it here on this storybook that's embedded on uh, a web page here. Um, on, sorry, my internet's just being really slow. There's Google Street View on the left page there. So you see it gives me like a full 3D tour. I can start heading around the neighborhood. So you can even add in something like that as well, which makes it super interactive for people. Um, but you know, as agents are doing obviously single property storybooks, they're also doing like community content, right? Whether you're just profiling an actual community and wanting to show, you know, the trendy neighborhoods and hotspots that are around the area and kind of be that community tour guide, you can do it that way. Uh, I've seen agents also use it to promote themselves as sort of a community leader, right? Um, being the tour guide, also showing them, you know, some of their fate, what the what the area is like. Um, stuff that people really care about, right? Like when you go and Google this stuff, it's actually really hard to find um, good websites or anything that give you like overviews of communities and, and what they have to offer. So you can add a lot of value when you provide this type of content. Um, she talks about her favorite restaurants and things like that. And then she even had a video shot and put into the last page here um, where she's able to different, um, communicate her differentiation and value proposition to the um, community. <laughs> I stand for integrity, doing the best that I can for each and every one of my clients, no matter what, being knowledgeable. Right, so Daniela here, like, once she had that fit video shot and the photos done, just 15 minutes to package it together here on studio. And um, she's able to put this out through all her marketing channels now. She'll put it on Facebook four or five times a year. Uh, she'll email it to everyone in her, her existing uh, client base and they're recirculating it for her. This content just kind of like people reshare it. It kind of goes viral, right? And it'll get you in conversations. Um, and when you get in those conversations, that's when you can now use your presentations to make sure that you close those opportunities. Um, so you can see presentations, they're just a bigger, um, bigger slide, like a bigger um, type of, uh, sorry, um, I'm trying to read a comment at the same time. It's a bigger template that is more centered. It's going to operate more like a slideshow. Um, so this is like your introduction to you piece, right? And everything that you do for either a buyer or a seller. And often, you know, the way our clients will use this is they're sending it out like a day or two before they go to meet uh, in person. And uh, again, it'll walk them through in an interactive story, everything about you, your, your different, your value proposition and what you do for a seller. Buy it, this is the perfect house for you. I drove by it, she called me two days later, she said. And you package all the great media together to do it and it becomes this, what every agent has right now, I'm sure you guys know, is usually a very static type presentation. It's in the form of a PDF, maybe at best a PowerPoint. I'm still hearing about you know a lot of physical presentations that are going with them to the appointment. Um, you can still have that, don't get me wrong, but I mean, this will take it to the next level as far as building that relationship and trust with the client before you actually even walk in the door. Um, you know, walk them through your process, your marketing expertise, um, and you're also selling them on the fact that you're not just gonna put their home on the MLS now like every other agent, right? You're gonna build a story and build a story book of their home and you're gonna market their home online that way. Um, they don't, they've never seen that option until you show it to them. So you know, people's ego kicks in on their own home for the most part, they want it to look amazing. Um, you will win the listing, honestly, pretty much every time. I'm not gonna say guarantee every time, but um, pretty much every time. Other agents just don't have this level of presentation um, at all at this point. Um, so it's for that reason, I mean, I love this listing presentation. I know it becomes a huge crucial piece of content for, you know, winning any listing opportunities or you are going up, up against other agents. Um, or even if it is a referral, like, let's be honest here, you still want to blow them out of the water. So they refer you to more people, right? Like, um, that level of professionalism is never going to hurt you. Um, other things, I mean, you can put market reports, blogs, anything you're doing like that, package it together as a storybook, um, it just becomes way more effective, uh, way better piece of content that's likely to keep someone's attention when it comes to Hi everybody, thanks so much for watching. Today I want to talk about some quick market stats. You know, when people talk about... Right, this is um, 
this is the stuff we're seeing. And it, it, we're living in an attention economy now, right? So when we're talking about, you know, whether it's emailing people or them, them coming to your website or your social channels, um, you're battling with Facebook, Instagram, um, people texting them, their email. Uh, that's why you literally have, you have like that five, 10 seconds for them to make a decision. Am I going to, Am I going to care about this? Am I going to engage with this? If they see a whole bunch of text, I, most people, they don't want to read all that. Like, so when you present it in the form of a story, it just, it makes them feel something, right? And it becomes a much more enjoyable, presentable way to um, pitch whatever it is that you're pitching, right? Um, how you market homes, communities, yourself, um, you name it. So um, did you want me to show kind of the back end, Mark, and just kind of how easy it comes together? Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. For sure. So um, it's a web-based app that you, lo that you log into. Um, we do have support in the form of chat support where you can talk to us right here in our team. Um, you guys are on the same time zone as us well, as well. So it's, you know, usually nine to six, but we are working from home. You could potentially get answers outside of work hours at this point. Um, we have a learning center with like video tutorials and how-tos. Uh, you can email us and call us as well. Um, beyond the support, we also have one-on-one -on -one consultations. Um, so you get a dedicated customer success manager who will uh, train all of you guys, onboard you, will also provide strategy calls, help you execute on content, like help you build your listing presentations, or, you know, if you want to contact them to do a Zoom for, you know, any other type of content, special projects that you want us to, uh, or if you even want to just talk to them and to get ideas, right? Like, what can I create uh, that's going to help me? Um, they're great for that. I mean, they just literally strategize all day long with top teams and agents. Um, but basically what you're doing is you're logging in here, you're going to an editing tool where, like I said, there's no design work for you to do whatsoever. Um, so everything's already built. This is a listing presentation here, 20, 20 pages. We give you full starting points. So each layout's designed. Uh, the thinking is kind of already done for you, getting you, you know, down the, down the path. Um, you can edit anything we've done here. Like you're not stuck with this exact presentation. You can edit our templates and you can, of course, add more pages. We have all these pre-designed layouts to choose from. You can, of course, remove anything you don't want. You can change up how it flows. But as far as putting in the content, it's as simple as clicking the little magic wand here in a content slot and you have your seven options every time. So you can do a still image. You can do a slideshow of image, images, um, a full video. Cinemagraph, which is also a video, but it loops, right? Like the, the stock graphics that you saw. 3D tours, Google Maps, Google Street View. So it's as simple as selecting the option you want and just copy and pasting the link to that file. And that's all you have to do. Um, same thing for video, Cinemagraph, Google Maps, Google Street, you're copy and pasting. With photos, you will just choose an image from a gallery, right? And just place the photo in. Um, so, it is that simple. You're able to basically put these together in, in a matter of minutes. Uh, you can produce as much of this content as you want. Um, and then you can share it literally everywhere. Um, they are just links at the end of the day. So you, you can be shared like any web page. I see storybooks embedded on websites like this. Um, I see people just linking things to the storybooks. Like here's three resort properties with the more info button. When I click on it, links me to their storybook that they made of that property. Um, that's pretty much exactly how you do it with email and uh, social media as well. Social media, you're just creating a Facebook post, you're copy and pasting the link in, it generates that preview that shows it's interactive, call to action. You guys can obviously control the Facebook post and tell everyone um, that this is this new thing that they're going to want to check out, right? Um, you can put them on QR codes on print materials link people that way. Um, emailing, of course, will embed the storybook in the body of an email, so they just have to click on that. Um, and the mobile versions are automatically created for you, so you don't have to do anything separate for mobile. Um, our system detects if they're accessing it on a mobile phone, and we just redid, redid a whole revamp on our mobile experience. So everything works exactly the same, and uh, it's still completely interactive. It's just a scroll up and down experience where they're still able to interact with all the media with the click of a button. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall the strategy of this, right, is you can start getting some content created, like create your portfolio, your library, 
um, showing people the way that you're marketing properties, showing people maybe the way that you're marketing yourselves and communities, um, and then using your presentations to really bring in that business and differentiate yourself and, and communicate your, your value proposition. Um, yeah, that, that's really in a nutshell. I'd like to tie back to what I was saying in the beginning. It's about helping you get chosen, you know, more than you were chosen before you had this, which uh, I think it's, it's definitely been proven that, that you can do it with this because um, it just takes you up to a whole other level of professionalism and, and helps you better communicate your value proposition. Like I said, when you only have seconds online and you're not there in person. Cool. Is there anything else, Mark, that you maybe wanted me to cover? Is that good? Just, uh, you know, I, some of my thoughts are that we're, I mean, we're in somewhat of a, it's starting to slow down a little bit just mm -hmm. because of the holiday season. It's still, yeah. a lot of us are still doing working with clients, but between the November, December, and January to be able, I think this is a good time if you want to avail yourself of it, to be able to, um, to start to work on these buyer presentations, listing presentations, take yeah. properties that you've sold and put them in this storybook to be able to push out to other people to say, hey, look, this is what I do. It's unique things along these lines. Yeah. Um, you know, so the other thing I'd like you to do, Kyle, is talk a little bit about the cost and, sure. you know. And just to build on what you were saying there, it's so true. Like obviously going into a slower season is gonna give you the opportunity to actually have time to curate some of this content. It'll get busy again, and I'm sure you know you'll be away from this for a little bit, but you'll still have that content out there working for you. So then when it slows down again next year, you're way ahead of everyone else who's now scrambling and trying to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, let's talk about the cost. Real quick as you're going to that, one of the things that I also thought about is um, along the lines of if you, let's say there's a Lake Ridge agent or one of you guys uh, and we don't have anybody that specializes in Lake Ridge, but they would be able to go in and do a presentation about that community, a storybook about that community. Uh, mm -hmm. Christine, I know you live in DC and some of the areas that you deal with uh, might very well benefit from this. Um, uh, Don, I, I looked at, you know, when it comes down to your specializing in military and doing that storybook for prospective clients who are, and you know, lay out the, you know what you're doing and who you're working with and you know military and the ties etc and your partners uh so uh you know looking at that uh, those are some of the thoughts that i had that's a great point because it's it, it's um unlimited as far as far as you can do as many storybooks as you want you really can tailor your content to specific demographics and we see that quite often um so for the pricing um you guys would be looking at our premium option which is basically 100% of what we offer in our best package. Um, it does give up to 25 agent profiles uh, with two admin accounts. So it's unlimited storybooks, it's unlimited presentations. So we just don't cap you on content at all. You guys can just create as much as you want. Um, your branding is included. Uh, lead capture, which uh, over on this side is done uh, as a branded lead capture form with CRM integration, as I mentioned. We have the live chat and email for Kyle, support. Who, who do, can you, um, can you, integrate with uh kv core yeah absolutely um it's any of the ones that are on the zapier list which kv core is um we have the live chat and email support which i mentioned in the web-based app we have the learning center in the web-based app we also have your consultation and training which is included with your dedicated customer success manager um, you will also have white labeled storybooks with the premium, which means you're going to keep us hidden and you were, you're going to keep us your competitive advantage. There'll be no mention of studio anywhere near the storybooks or around them. Nothing that says powered by studio. Um, you will be one of the first teams or agents in your market using this. So uh, you'll want to keep that us as your competitive advantage for as long as possible. You can see our studio logo next to the storybook on the left here. That's normally where we would show up if you aren't white labeled. Um, so just to mention that, you have the ability to also print your storybooks. So if you're doing a storybook for a listing and you want to create a print version, you will receive a PDF, which is full bleed. Um, it can just be sent off to a printer if you want to get any items created. Uh, we have all the, the templates for all the different types of print material in, uh, already uh, created in the back end. Um, 
we'll give you access to uh, a couple different pre-built templates. The services one is really popular, which is the one that I showed you with Daniela Gold here, where she promotes herself as the kind of community leader. So um, if you wanna just basically access this already built and make it your own, uh, it's gonna be there. And then a recruitment presentation uh, is also included for, uh, for, for Mark, uh, the brokerage, or if any of you are running teams and also wanna uh, recruit people to your team, um, this is a great presentation to do that as well. Um, and the last thing is you'll get actually additional consultation time, which uh, supports, you know, a, a boutique brokerage or a, a large team pretty well. So you get actually four hours total of one-on-one -on -one time uh, with the customer success manager. Like I said, they'll do anything with you that you want. Training happens in the beginning. The consultation is more a deep dive into your business. What are you looking to achieve? What are your goals? We can help you execute on content um, that'll get you an ROI. That is pretty much it. What do you guys think? What other what questions do you guys have for Kyle or even for me? All quiet. Could be good or bad. <laughs> uh, hey, Mark and and Kyle. Hey. So this looks like uh, you know a great great product. Um, as agents, we kind of get caught up in a lot of shiny new toys and things like that. So I'm. I'm Always a little gun shy from that perspective, um, especially when you know we pay a lot of money for it and then sometimes we just don't use it. So that's my concern. But this looks like a great uh, a great product. I guess Mark kind of comes down to you know how many how many agents you get to sign up for it. You know from my perspective. Um, Give me one second. I got something from Christine too. So let me tell her. On, so Christine, I'm going to answer you your question here in a minute. Okay. So go ahead, Don. Uh, that's that's kind of it. Um, is there a way for us to sort of uh, trial this, play around with it a little bit, see, you know, other than just the presentation? Unfortunately, there's no trial um, at all. That's kind of why we do this kind of online Zoom uh, consultation and meeting where I'm happy to walk you through any of, you know, the back end stuff and, and different examples like that. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we do a full training with you when you come on. So we kind of do your first project with you and then obviously get your account set up and your branding implemented. Um, so we haven't had a need for a trial yet. And, you know, we don't ever have anybody really who's purchasing a subscription and then, you know, kind of saying, uh, you know, this isn't what I thought I'm walking away from it. So, um, I mean, we have a lot for you guys being able to split it. I mean, I'm biased, obviously, but it just makes a ton of sense because I mean, I have individual and tons of individual agents or agents who are running, you know, a small team that are paying the 47, 88 a year all themselves because they know like the ability to get chosen one or two extra times in most markets is, is going to cover, you know, turn you an ROI. So the fact that you guys would have the opportunity to split this, I think, just makes it a no brainer. Okay. So, so let me let me answer Christine and then I'll go back to that. So yeah. Christine, yes, it will interview in her, it will mesh with our CRM uh, out of KV Core. Tawana asked me if it will mesh with our our CRM if we when we switch to, you know, or if we're looking at switching in. And again, one of the things that Kyle said is that there are standard CRMs within web real estate web developers that will, you know, overlay this. So I don't yeah. see if we switch that there'd be any problems. Um, the, hold on one second. I forget the other question. Yes, you get stock me videos and um, and uh, photos with this, and that's one of the things that uh, that you know, that I think is neat. Because when I first saw this, you know, I saw these videos and I thought, holy crap! You mean I got to do all these videos? No, I'm not interested. And then when I, because I I thought they were great. Like there's uh, one example that they had, uh, which you saw where it's a backyard and people are grilling and I'm thinking, well, that's great, but now I got a friggin', you know, video myself or pay somebody to go. Yeah. And it was like, no, they're right here. So there, there are stock videos, there are stock photos, things along these that we can use to put in that presentation. Um, I couldn't, I personally could never, would never think of doing this if I had to do all that crap, because A, I don't have the time, yeah. and B, I don't have the technological ability to do it. Um, I I completely understand, you know, the, am I going to use this um, objection? But at the end of the day, we basically say spend two hours with us, training and consultation, 
and we will get you enough content that's going to get you chosen multiple extra times this year if, if you're not willing to you know invest two hours to make some content that's going to help you get chosen more often i mean i don't know why you wouldn't <laughs> it's uh it's, it's not that big of an investment and then obviously once you see the success you'll want to when when things slow down jump on and maybe do more content right um you'll you start getting a lot of compliments on this stuff you're going to be hearing from people like wow i really loved what you did there really loved the way you marketed that home um and trust me, that will make you want to jump back on here and create more content. Okay, so Christine, uh, I'm gonna refer to Kyle. Uh, Christine just sent a text uh, chat, so if you could answer that, but once I answer Don. So what, so Don, my, my idea is, and I'll be really, I mean, you guys know me well enough to know I'm gonna be straightforward with you on this. So we had a couple of people from last time. Uh, we had, um, three people that were supposed to be here today, but had meetings with clients. And so they weren't able to be here. Kyle's gonna send me the video of this so I can push it out to people that, you know, have not, were, were not able to attend. It's 40, I, and I'm gonna round, $4,800. I'm willing to take on, you know, a good bit of this. And if more agents wanna come into it, then it will, excuse me, it'll help me defray my cost. But what I'm trying to do is get enough people to where this becomes affordable to you, to where you're excited to use it. Um, you know, I, 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 when it comes down to it, if I said to you guys, well, uh, I'm looking for five people, including me, we're gonna pay $1,000 each. Most of you would go, yeah, that's nice, I appreciate it. I'm trying to get enough people, so this is really affordable. Uh, because look, we all look for a good return on our investment. And Don, your question about, you know, when you said, well, you know, I don't know if I use it. Well, what I'd rather do, yes, Maurice, the cost will be split. So what it's not going to be $47.88 per person. It's it's going to be split with us because we get 25 seats with this and can actually do two offices. So Warrington people and Prince William Fairfax will be able to, to do this together. But my idea is, in, in sort of answer your question, Don, is that, hold on one second, let me get this off, um, that what it comes down to is, if I said to you, Don, $1,000, okay, you would most likely go, well, I can probably afford it, but at $1,000, it's not going to be worthwhile to me because I don't know if I'm going to use it, okay? Uh, and so, Tawana, what that means is that there are going to be 20, 25 different people in the office can use it. That's why I said seats, okay? Because it's basically used as a team. So, Don, if I gave you, if we talked about a price where you could say, hey, it's worth the money for me to use this and try it and see how things are going, that's my goal, is to make this usable and cost effective for everybody and have a great return on investment, okay? And Kyle, this is an annual subscription price, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. So I, I missed part of this. I had a, a, another call I was on. So you know, once we start using this to develop a presentation, what's kind of the, you know, in, in your experience, the turnaround time? Does it take two or three hours of effort, uh, you know, a whole day of effort? What's sort of the, the amount of time you would expect one of us to go in and do and put together one of our presentations yeah that's a great question so um as far as a full on time commitment from you guys there's going to be when you first sign up a new client there's first a, an hour meeting that we bring you to which is training and onboarding so that means getting everything set up for you getting your branding in kind of walking you through the first doing the first storybook with you so that you know how to do this right and you come away feeling comfortable on how to use it now after that we're talking about actually helping you build content now we can do that on a strategy call with one of the customer success reps and i can't stress enough how important these people will be to your success as well we've hired experts ladies with mark uh, real estate backgrounds that are going to strategize with you and help you execute on content um your listing presentation don is probably your biggest um project um and you'll do it in under an hour um oh, wow. and you you will be able to You'll never have to create it again. You can clone it, you can edit it as many times as you want. 
you never have to go back and recreate the wheel. You'll have a beautiful listing presentation that you can just tweak and keep going for you with you for years. Um, other storybooks, like say you're doing a storybook for like a single property or one of your listings that you have, those usually range from anywhere to like eight to 12 pages, depending on, you know, how big the house is. And if you're showing any community or stuff, things like that, you'll put those together in under half an hour. So probably okay. 15 to 20 minutes. So from a time commitment standpoint, that's really all you're looking at. And you're, you're already, you're already purchasing all of, you know, the photos and the videos and things that are going to go in the storybook. You just have to basically spend 20 more minutes to repackage it this way. And you'll get like 10 times the return than if you just splashed all that on a, on a website or something. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank that's you. kind of our value proposition is you can create like agency level interactive stories in the matter of minutes with like no real design background like we actually have real estate agents who are using the platform right it's obviously we also have brokerages and teams who have like marketing people or admin people but for the most part our users are actual agents because of how simple it is okay tuana i'm not sure the question you're asking so can you unmute and ask the question let me see here it's each of us can do so it's 25 agents yes each of us can do as many storybooks as we need to do correct yeah and it's, so it's and, unlimited use yep. for each individual person yep and it is marketed and <clears throat> made specifically to market each individual person and not all eight of us as a group. No, no. So, so, and, and Kyle, correct me if I'm wrong, because I want to. I understand what what you're saying, Tuana. So, for that subscription, it allow it, it is quote unquote as Campbell told me, it's like a team subscription where there it can have up to 25 agents, and you are branded on your own. You are a fathom branded, but you are branding yourselves. Okay. Yeah. So each of you, if it's, if it's eight, if it's 10, if it's 20 of us, okay, I, I, whatever that it comes down to is we have unlimited of these presentations to do, each of us, okay? And that it's branded to fathom and you're branding that your presentations to you. So when I said 25 seats, it's like it's 25 separate accounts under the group account under me. So you're not necessarily, you're not being, touted as part of Mark Worlow's team, this is, you're branding yourself under Fathom. Is that correct, and co Kyle? You're also, yeah, and you're also co-branding with Fathom as well. They'll, you'll have the ability to put your logo, your branding next to Fathom. And then on the back covers of all the storybooks, you will see your own profile, your own contact information, your headshot and everything. Now, when it comes to the listing presentation, the way it's usually gonna get set up, this will be a mix, right? Mark's going to probably have certain parts of this listing presentation that are brokerage wide and right. There's going to be certain slides that talk about the Fathom team, but you can also create your own listing presentation that has nothing to do with Fathom. <laughs> well, obviously depending on Mark's rules, like I'm, I'm yeah. not sure you guys have it set up, but you're also going to have your own content in here as well. That just focuses specifically on you. So, so, so it is all, all for you. Yeah. So, so what I would do is, I would, I would do something, I'm, I would do my own listing presentation for me. Mm -hmm. right. What I would ask is that you guys put certain things about Fathom in your listing presentations, mm -hmm. but it's all tailored to you, not to me, okay? So it'll brand, be co-branded between you and Fathom, not me and Fathom, and you happen to be part of it, it would be Fathom and you. Uh, there would be certain things that I would request that you put in about Fathom, Mm -hmm. um, and I, to be honest with you, I hadn't really thought that far down the line with this, where I would be doing, I would do my own listing presentations or buyer agency presentations, but I would also be doing recruiting presentations, but you would be able to, and, and Kyle, correct me if I'm wrong, it would be Fathom branded, but you would co-brand everything on your own for your presentations whether it be a presentation on a property, a listing presentation, a buyer's agency presentation, a personal presentation about you, a presentation about a neighborhood or community or whatever, whatever it is. You are correct, yes. Um, I think this one demonstrates that. Um, 
Daniela Gold here, she's part of Harvey Callis, right? So she's got, um, Harvey Callis is a brokerage up here in Canada. Um, so she, you know, she's got, this is Harvey Callis' main um, branding and you can see the HK stories, harveycallisstories.ca is the link. Daniela Gold co-brands it as Daniela Gold Real Estate, servicing my community. On the back cover, Harvey Callis' logo, her logo, all co-branded with her, uh, her brokerage who bought the uh, service from us. So Kyle, with these 25 seats, so each of us would have our own, um, each of the seats would have its own login to the... Correct, yeah. Okay. You log in. And then, is, and then, so each of our, you know, our files and presentations would be separate. Is there a way then to share among the 25 seats? So if, let's say Mark has some stuff that he wants to um, put together that we could share as a, as a brokerage. Is there a way to facilitate that? Yeah, there is. Um, what we do is we give you'll have a there'll be admin accounts and whoever has access to those admin accounts like mark he can oversee everything right he can see all what mm -hmm. all 25 of you are doing on the platform your user account that you log in with your own username and password allows you to only access your own content and see what you are doing um but yeah you can once a storybook link is produced it can be shared any way you want gotcha so kyle so, you so guys could, uh, you I guys are out of toronto this, do you have I any could, um i'm sorry mark go ahead no go ahead don go ahead I was just going to say to go back to that um, question about the stock photos and, and media materials. You guys are out of Toronto. I see a lot of uh, pictures of Toronto. Do you guys um, uh, have, or can you provide some stock photos for our DC area? Um, we can certainly look into that. I mean, we're, we're adding more stock all the time. I think, yeah, most of our clients are in the U S so we don't really focus on like our content being Toronto focused at all. I would say we only have about 60 clients in all of Toronto versus the rest of them are all in the US. So um, we don't focus so much on geographic type stuff. You can see a lot of the, the content is it's close ups and lifestyle stuff that, mm -hmm. so you can easily place it, you know, obviously the piano keys, you can never tell what piano that is, right? Or gotcha. the barbecuing, you can never tell what barbecue it is. But if you want to put in a request that we, we try to um, add some more DC specific content, we can certainly look at adding that because we, we do take requests like that from our clients and um, we'll obviously look in and see if that's something that we can add. And if not, at worst, we will direct you to where you can um, get some of that content. Gotcha. Plus, there, there are plenty of um, sites that I know of there's, where yeah, you can so get many. stock photos for different areas. Yeah, there's so, you know, So I, I know that you can get stock photos for Virginia, DC, Maryland, et cetera. And uh, so we may have to do a little bit of reconnaissance on that, Don, you and I. Yeah, but, yeah like, we can yeah. be what you can, but obviously we can't cover like every single market in the U.S. It's, it's, it's a lot. So um, we're trying to, but it's just like we can't add it all at once. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Any other questions? And the chat part will be chatted directly to that agent and not go to anybody's like it won't go to the yeah. admin, it will go directly yeah. to the agent that the storybook was made with. Yeah, whoever's logged into their account, that's who you're talking, uh, our support team's talking to that person, yeah. No, no, what, okay. what Tuan I think is saying is, is there a chat feature on here which would go to the agent? Uh, does she mean chat support from the site, like from our support team? No, if, if, is, there a chat, is there a chat from these storybooks to the agent? Or is it just oh, the capture at the bottom? The lead capture is the option. There's not a chat uh, type thing. This is the option for um, for capturing leads, not a chat. But, but the lead capture will come to each individual agent mm -hmm. versus the admin. Yeah, it'll, po gen it'll populate directly into your CRM system. Um, and so you, you're, I think you can set that up with your CRM where you, the particular agent gets notified, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Okay. So yeah, no, it doesn't get shared to an outside source to be sold back to you if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Very welcome. Uh, any more questions? All right. Kyle, Maurice, has a, Maurice has a Maurice oh, has a question. All right, Maurice, go ahead. It's in the chat, okay. and I let kind me, of am curious too. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, 
Marie says, I understand that I can add a link to my site, but does Fathom insert their link into my storybook? No, you would insert a link to Fathom, but you would be able to brand it with all the logos, which are on, is on Fathom Wiki. I also want to add help, that Maurice? You can, um, you can make, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm not, the, the question I'm trying to ask is we're co-branding with Fathom. Mm -hmm. So in, in the branding material that Fathom provides to these folks, does that include a link to the Fathom corporate site or will my website be the only link on my presentation? So, so Fathom is not providing anything to them. We are taking our Fathom logos and putting it in there. Okay. So we're getting a blank, we're, get, we're getting a blank presentation, which is already set up, um, for formally set up, which we can can add or subtract to, whether it's a picture of us, whether it's our logo, whether it's your personal logo, whatever, all this goes in. Fathom is not uploading the stuff to them. We are taking what we've got from Fathom off a wiki or anything along those lines and putting it into these presentations. Any links would go to you or into our CRM. Correct, yeah. You can, um, you can link people on your back, uh, your back agent branding part here uh, on your agent profile. You can also, any single photo that you put into a storybook can be linked to a site. So if you want someone to be able to click on a photo and it links them um, to a different website or, or a different file oh, wow. or document, you can do that as well. Oh, wow, that's, I didn't know that, Kyle, that's great. Yeah, yeah, we added that uh, a little while ago. That was a feature people were asking for. Does that answer your question, Maurice? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, Kyle, I appreciate it. Uh, you spent a good bit of time with us, which I really appreciate. If you can yeah, send pleasure, me the Mark. link to this, uh, to this presentation so I can send it out to a couple of people that did not, uh, were not able to make it. Uh, and then uh, I'll be doing some uh, talk and going back and forth with a number of the agents and, and I'll get back to you. Yeah, fantastic. It's my pleasure, guys. It was nice meeting all of you. Appreciate your time. And um, yeah, well, we'll talk to you soon, Mark. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.